Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? It's Faven. Thank you very much for coming to my channel. I don't know what that was. <laughs> um, so today is going to be talking about a couple of things to compare that is my products compared to products that are out there. I think I have one, two, three, three. Three products. Um, the next couple of videos, I think I'll probably have a little more, but right now I have three products. So let's talk about. Well, let's talk about the makeup I have on today. So the makeup I have on today is a very light, light makeup, but I do. It is completely two different foundations and two different concealers. Um, and I mean, I conceal twice because my under eyes are so dark. They are beat on dark okay they're like dark dark so um i concealed on my right side i did this concealer which is from uh, magic collection this is in the color orange so i'm going to swatch it on um let's see i'll swatch it right here no i'll swatch it right here i'm not that good on swatching so please forgive me on that. So that's that color looks more brownish than anything else, but it is pretty dark. I would say orange, orange brown, blah, 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 orange brownish color. That looks more brown on the camera because it's a crappy camera. And then on my left side, I use this uh, Revolution. A fast base concealer which I do 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 enjoy a lot so it's a twist one and it is a couple of shades deeper than my skin tone um, I've been liking doing actually been pref I prefer to do this one than this um, I, don't know, I just I just do so those are the two colors I used under first, which I worked pretty good. Um, the orange one does dry out pretty quickly, so you need to work pretty fast. But besides that, um, this one you have a little bit more work work time, but this one you really need to blend very, very quickly. I used my Morphe sponge and just blend it on in but before I did all that um I did use I washed my face I washed my face with well this is just a little sample I keep in my um studio I like I said I do have my own business that's actually my business license right above my head um this is a charcoal activated black soap it smells pretty good it smells like tea tree I do like the smell of tea tree um this helps my skin a lot. Right now my skin is breaking out a little bit more because I just started my menstrual this morning. Well, yeah, on the 13th. Right now it's the 14th, but on the 13th, I started my menstrual. So um, I use this day and night. So when I do take this makeup off tonight, I will be using not this one, but the one I have in my bathroom. I will scrub my face with, I have a little round scrubber. From Dollar Tree, I will scrub my face with it, and then I will lather this up, and I will really get into my skin and really massage it in, and then we'll rinse it out really, really well. And then after that, I got, ooh, where did you go? Okay, there you go. I got this. It is a hyaluronic acid, one percent plus vitamin C serum. I actually got this from. Dollar Tree also I've been liking the combination of using this and then now I'm going to talk about my personal well my second personal product that I use besides that soap um don't mind the label because this is my this is for my personal use so I just labeled it like that it's called Essence of East Africa Buddy Butter um this is six ounces it does not have a scent to it it's just a thick Buddy butter. Um, if you guys are interested in getting a sample or purchasing something really, really small, make sure you leave a comment and I uh, will try to send you one out. Um, it is very thick 
and when you first put it on it actually um, looks very like glossy like shiny but it does like see how it gets sh kind of shiny with the oils there's like um, there's three different oils plus there's olive oil well there's four different oils and also has vitamin E um, it has it has a lot of different things. I will do another video just dedicated on my body butters that I do have. So this is just, I love using this. I use this my whole entire body. Um, I can even use it in my hair if I want to, but it's a little too thick for my hair. It's a little too oily for my hair, so I don't use it on my hair. Um, but you can if you want to. You can use this on your lip because it does not have a fragrance and it does not have... Um, a taste to it. It just is all, all, all organic. Um, so I really love it. So com combination with the hyaluronic acid and my body butter combined together it has made my skin feel amazing. That's one thing I could definitely, definitely, definitely tell you. So I let that really work into my skin, really saturate my skin. Usually after that, I go to work. I don't usually wear makeup, but if I do decide to wear makeup, then I will prime my face. And for my prime um, today, I just I couldn't find my other one. Um, I use um, my usually I use Wet n Wild primer, or I will use my Elf primer, which for some reason I cannot find my Elf primer. But I will use either my e.l.f. primer or my um, Wet n Wild primer. I do have two of these primers. I have the matte primer and I have the regular face primer. Um, I The matte primer, I have to be very careful not to use the matte primer plus a matte. Like, I can't use a matte primer and my NYX um, Can't Stop, Won't Stop full coverage. Con uh, not conditioner um foundation because it feels like my skin is going to crack so i have to be if i'm using this i have to use a very moisturizing primer um if i'm going to use something else then i can definitely use my um oh my back my my other primer that is more matte so after that i did two different type of actually step back i did forget to mention this before i put my hyaluronic acid and before i put my lotion i did use this scrub this is from dollar tree this is the facial coconut oil and sea salt scrub i did use this um it's a little bit too liquidy it's a little bit too watery for me um it has a great smell it smells just like coconut oil um if you if you smell this and close your eyes and smell it think of the old school coconut oil coconut um body butter and like the really big white container that has a brown lid it just says coconut cocoa butter um it says cocoa butter that's all it says it smells just like that just exactly exactly smells just like that um but i can go without it definitely can go without it uh i will use because i have it but if you want something that's going to exfoliate this is not it at all so i have one of my own um don't mind it does not have a label and this is the only con this is the only bottle of container i have this in this is i think this is this one yes it is this is my shake it up So it's very thick and white. It does not have that much smell to it, but it does. It's it the scrubbing part is not as big as as a sea salt. It's not. It does have a little bit of sea salt, but this has more of a um uh oh God. What is the name? Um, it's more. It's like sand. 
like basically just like sand is very it does exfoliate because i have i put a lot in here so it's a mild exfoliate but it's not as mild as this and this head does not have that much sea salt this has a lot of pumice that's what it is pumice it has a lot of pumice on here and this does have um a lot of this has um shea butter cocoa butter uh, a lot of oils vitamin e um glycerin um it has a lot of things in here and it does really exfoliate your hands i'm actually going to be washing my face with this today i can't wait it, my face does need to be exfoliated um I'm so thirsty so after it even feels really good but just imagine using that and really exfoliate like for one full minute just exfoliate your full entire face wash it off and then put your hyaluronic acid with the vitamin c oil I mean serum and then follow up with this that will seal everything and your skin will be golden I promise, well, I'm not going to say I promise you, I am certain that your skin will be really luscious. Um, but you really have to well rinse your face with this because it is pumice and pumice, um, you really need to rinse your face out. But my skin actually feels pretty good. So I will be using that today. And then I used two different foundations. Um, this is just a joke. This is... You know what? I should have only I should have picked up the one I had opened up. Uh, there are two. Um, there's two different type of BB creams at Dollar Tree. This is the one BB cream in dark one. They all said dark one, but the one I had picked up at first was pretty dark. But this one, it's very 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 sheer. So that color it looks more of like a beige brown. I don't like it at all. Um, like when I put it on my on my skin, it does not like disperse evenly. Even though it does look like it's dispersing evenly on camera, but I'm um, telling you, it does not disperse easily. Um, I was just mixing the concealer with that to see what that's what it look like. Um, it looks pretty good. On my hand like when you put it close to my face it does have that little dewy um, aspect to it but as you could tell it's not dewy at all um, so that is that's what that one looks like I don't like it I really really don't like it and I'm glad it's just a dollar because I can just get rid of it and I don't have to feel so bad or so guilty and then on the other side on my left side, I use my Clinique. This is in shade uh, Silk Almond. Um, it is very, very nice. I really like it. When I first put it on, it does look a little bit too light for me. But once it kind of like absorbs into my skin and like melts with my body heat, it actually ends up looking really good. Um, it's still just a little bit lighter. So what I do is after I put all the clinic around, this is, this is a Mali Face Definer BB Cream. It This has um, broad spectrum SPF 15. This is in color rich. So it looks like I got this from Alta. It was on clearance. I can't remember how much it was. If I can find it, I will link it in the bar below. It is pretty dark. Um, this shade would probably be better for me during like the hot summer days. So on the camera, when I put it close to me, it does look pretty good. It does look pretty close. But for right now, at this moment, is a little bit too red from for me like when I look at it right here it looks a little bit more a little red but um maybe like by like when you see it like that looks actually pretty dang on good but it is a little red when I look at it um does not the redness doesn't really show up on cameras as good but yeah 
So after I used that, I went ahead and I used my banana powder. No, I did not. I lied. I highlighted under my eyes using the Maybelline uh, concealer under my eyes on both. And then I also added a, a lighter LA color. I added them both together on the bottom. I mixed it up together and used, I put my BB, BB cream, I put my banana powder in this container. I got this from Dollar Tree. As you can tell, I love Dollar Tree. So um, I put this in here. It's just so much easier to use because the BB cream, not BB cream, I keep on saying BB cream, because of the banana powder, the way it's contained, it does not fit right. So. I put it in here. It's just so, so, so much easier. Um, so that is the face. And then for my eyes, actually, I will swatch both. I got these two, guess, Dollar Tree. Got these two LA Color Light uh, Liquid Eyeliner Eyeshadow. This is in Wink. It's like a pinkish color. And this is a gold color, but it's called Sheer. I actually love these two. That's actually what I have on my eyes right now, but you can't really tell. Um, use it on this hand. You gotta, you don't have to build it up as much, but once you put it on and you know, you go back and forth, it does kind of remove the color. So this is a gold. I really love this gold. Really, really, really love this gold. And if I do wear makeup, I will put this on and uh, on my eyelid for work because it's, it's shimmery, but it's not too shimmery. And, and the pink one. Pink one looks a little more purplish on the screen, but it is very like fuchsia pink. It's really, really pretty. That's, but I do have this one on. I do love it. It dries. Um, I have had this on for like an hour now, and I'm like rubbing it, and it's not coming off. It stays, and it stays for quite some time. So I will be purchasing more of these. Um, and that's, I think that's about all that I really want to review. And everything else that I used, I used the Essence um, Pure Nude Sunlighter. This is in Be My Sunlight. It is a, I guess a highlighter. It is a little bit powdery. If I want to, it is there, but it's not really there. It's like very, very subtle. If you want something that's very, very subtle, it is there, but it's not that much. And I used, of course, where would I, where else do you think this is from? This is from Dollar Tree. Also, this is the gold and like brownish well you can't really see but those are the cool two colors I like this one a lot more they are powdery I can tell you that they are very powdery Ooh. but they do have a shine to them If you really want to shine, you could definitely get this for a dollar. I'm just like, oh wow. Like doing the absolute most right now. I was like, way too much. My brushes, they smell so good. And what I clean them with, they smell just so, 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 so good. And I, of course, got this from Dollar Tree, too. And it works pretty good. I think this is the, just the, um, 
the mermaid one no not mermaid unicorn i have a mixture of like all different types of of brushes i'm not like snob to one brand i like them all like for example this is ruby kiss um fan brush um, I have Morphe, I have someone, some of them that have no name brands, I have Wet n Wild, I have some of everything in here, so as long as it works and it's clean, I'm okay with it. And then I dusted my face just a little bit with Aerospawn and some blush, and what I use to actually seal everything in is my LA Color I really do like this mineral press powder. I actually really, really, really do like this powder. It really, really does work. I think it kind of like made my skin um, seem a little more seamlessly, just made everything melt together. And at the end, I did buy a new um, setting spray. This is from uh my local store hair store and has you know, it smells really really good but it is time to take all of this off um and i'm actually going to show you guys how i use my my own products com combined with the stuff that i did buy i do use the uh, aloe vera extract wipes from Marshalls. I get these from Marshalls. So I'm just, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to use wipes. You guys don't need to see me wipe my makeup off, but um, this is what I use. And then after I wipe my makeup off, I will be back. Ready, so makeup is all done. I usually take two of these. One, I just wipe everything off, and then the second, I will put. I don't know why I have to take one here, but I have put um my uh cleaning liquid. Put some more on here, and then wipe the rest off. And then now, since so my face is nice and wet. I'm going to go ahead and take my um, pumice hand, my pumice uh, scrub, and put it on my face, and scrub, 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 scrub my face, scrub very well my face, my face really needs it, I have been putting on more makeup, oh god this feels so good mm. be light with your hands because this you know it does scrub really really well Don't like go ham with your fingers, like light strokes, because it does scrub very, very well. Oh my god. Uh. My eyebrows, too. I'm not going to put on my eyes, but all right. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off, and I'm actually going to scrub my hands too, and I will be right back. All right, I am back. My skin is so exfoliated. It feels really, really, really good. Uh, I've been wearing makeup a lot more than I normally do. I don't wear makeup as much. Um, if I do this for a special occasion or if I'm like really, 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 really in the mood to wear makeup, then I wear makeup. I'm not an everyday makeup wearer. Don't wear makeup every day at all. So I usually don't even do nothing. 
to my face besides you no know, wash and stuff but it felt really good I left my pumice face scrub um, it's more aggressive for your face than it is for your hand because your face is a lot more delicate than your hands are so it really did help with getting all that gunk off my face next I am going to take my hyaluronic acid with the vitamin C oil I take this morning and night as a little dropper so I put one some on my forehead and a little bit on my nose and it felt like I really got that promise got really deep into my skin because I did scrub it um, a little bit more in the bathroom and then one hour I was rinsing it off I was also scrubbing it so and then as you guys can tell like my actually my under eye circles ow my under eye circles have gotten a lot lighter since I have been using this um, regimen since I've been doing the um, serum, the serum with my, um, my face cream, well, my body cream. Don't pull down on your eye, just pull up. Just don't want to sag your skin. But I will go ahead and try to give a little bit of massage under my skin. I mean, my eyes and then the rest pat it in I feel so much better I feel so 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 much better and then while that is drying I will take my body butter that much is that's more than enough for my face and hands since I did scrub my hands also and then just put this on and then the remaining rub it under my hands one thing I cannot have is a dry skin dry hands and dry lips we cannot have that I look crazy doing this but it does feel really good okay so it's nice and glowy and then I do also make my own lip balms, but mine is downstairs. I feel like, really feel like going back downstairs. Once I go downstairs, I'm going to come back up here. So I'm using this uh, Lip Smackers from Mezio Mix. This is in, uh, in chocolate. Chocolate? No, this actually is in... It smells like Coca-Cola. This is... We had this for... Christmas for the kids at my job and they gave me a handful of different kinds and uh, I have actually two of these I just saw one yeah I have two of these of course it does not taste like Coca-Cola but it smells just like it and it is brown and that's my skincare for nighttime is the same exact exactly for the morning time so that is all I have for you today I do hope you do uh, blah, blah, blah. I do hope you did enjoy this video please make sure you like subscribe and comment let's grow this channel together let's make this to be another big channel not like another big channel, like I already have one, but another big channel that we can create and have a nice, beautiful community about skincare, health, whatever this channel is going to end up being. Um, so, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. 
and also make sure you share this video and if you have any other suggestions on skincare or if you want to see some more of my skincare products that I do have oh yes and I did wash my face not with this specific one but the one I have in the bathroom um, after the the pomade not pomade but the pumice then I washed with that so my skin did definitely got exfoliated and all the impurities taken out Alrighty, thank you very much for checking me out and for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you on the next one. Love you all.